okay so this is the next project it was a CD stand um, but I'm going to convert it into just a normal storage rack I'm going to reduce the height so the height is eventually going to come down to about here um, and I'm going to reduce it by about 100 mil in width the shelves as can possibly see here but an angle I'm going to um, make the shelves flatter and also a bit wider and take these dowels off the back they come in handy for something else um, and put flat shelves on the back as well and as I say this is just for storage ok so when I was sawing through this um, the saw scraped on metal so it's obviously must have put screws in I thought it was dowels looking at the end as I think you can see here it must just be to cover up the screw areas so I'm going to try to get my drill just a normal drill bit on um, see if I can drill through here and see what's behind and if it's screws it's probably going to be a lot easier to um, Right, okay, so here we have the existing shelves which will get reused um, as long, along with my new bits of what I've got. I've got the dolls, which again probably is used in a future project. We've got the little um, separators that were never really used anyway. Um, and then we've got the two sides and as I say I'm going to reduce the sides down to about here but I may still put this top bit on which will just if I cut down there cut that off and just put that on there um, I might do that I don't know and then looking at it as well for areas around where the dowels have been and on the backs where the screws were covered up it looks like I'm going to probably have to use quite a lot of wood filler I had been thinking about how I was going to put these two, these shelf pieces together whether I was going to laminate or use a different method and I've decided that what I'm going to do is use dowels
Okay, so I've finished the shells for now. Um, I have put them through the thickness a bit. Um, just get them a little bit more flatter. But some of them have come out okay. Others have got large gaps in, which I, you know, I might just leave. Um, I'm not too fussed about that. As I say, it's for myself. It's not for anybody else. I'm never. I can never get the um, dowels done right, no matter how much I work at it. Um, but again, it shows the mistakes that are made. But I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put these to one side for now. Right, yes, yeah, so I do have a cheap orbital sander. And I do also have a fairly cheap um, paper for it. But I do plan on changing that this year when I go to make a central, as I'm going to look to invest in a Merca um, sander, which I know I've tried one last year when I was there and I really liked it, just couldn't afford it. I've saved up, so that's going to be my next big investment. some little brackets here um, just to help us get the shelves in line and then I'll as I put each one on obviously I've got the bottom one doesn't need it because it's got the the feet there but as I put each shelf on I'll move these brackets up and up um, just so I can get them level Next I've got to um, fill up these holes with wood filler, which I almost forgot about. Um, and so to do that I've decided one of the best ways is because some of these holes go right the way through, just put a piece of wood behind, get some grit clamps, just to keep it in place. And I'm going to be using this uh, Ronsio wood filler, uh, which you mix with a hardener. It's been a while since I've used it, but I know it's good for this job. Uh, I've got a little um, mix and palette kind of thing, which I've just put in the vise. I've used this many times before, I found it a lot easier to do. 